know, here on The Blend, we love talking about families doing great things. How about a family winery making fabulous wines? I think that is a good one to talk about here on today's show. And that's what our next guests are going to do for us. Let's welcome it, Eric and Joanne Russell from Rabbit Ridge Winery. That is a tongue twister in itself, <laughs> but I feel like that must be a testament to the success of the wines. How did, are the both of you? You did that very well. <laughs> great. Thank you. Very good. I slowed down, which yeah, I say I slowed down <laughs> because I think that's a good segue to you, Eric. You kind of have been there, done that on the mega wine scale, but you decided to slow things down and really focus on some wines to uh, keep your family together. And I'm excited to announce the wines now are going to be coming to Tampa Bay. Right, Eric? That's correct. Yeah, we were we were we were getting kind of too big uh, for us to handle comfortably. We were we were everywhere. I, I actually met Joanne when we were the house wine at uh, Disney World in Orlando, and I came in to pour my wines there. So that was just getting to the to be something we didn't want. So I, I toned it back. And unlike wineries that are just constantly trying to get bigger. We went from 250,000 cases down to 10,000. But the 10,000 cases we make are now much, much higher quality than the wines we were able to make at 50,000. Because smaller, smaller in the wine business usually means better. Ah, uh, that is good to know. I've already been able to pick up a few tips from talking to the both of you and seeing that you're only making so much wine. It's pretty important that you are focusing and letting Tampa Bay be one of those cities. Joanne, your roots here are in the Bay Area. Family still here. Why was it important for you to also bring some great wine here as well? Well, when we left to go back to Paso Robles, I still really never left Tampa. In fact, I wake up on East Coast time every morning. So uh, it was so important to be back in Tampa as one of our first uh, cities to launch. And uh, we just have a lot of really good connections here still and still consider Tampa home. You know, Eric, I think it's so important to talk about the longevity that you've been able to show in the winemaking industry and just to be able to see the differences in your passion. You know, you hear different ways of trying to mass produce wine or technology is changing the ways that wine is produced. What about your wines? How are they produced and why are you trying to stay pretty organic and what it used to be uh, maybe without all of the technology? Well, I'm not sure if it's that uh, I'm not smart enough to learn the two new technology or the way I really feel about it is the old way is the best way. Mm. I filtered some wine yesterday that we're going to bottle tomorrow. And it took me probably five hours to filter a very small amount of wine. And with the new technology, if I would be using that, I could have filtered tens of thousands of gallons of wine but it's going through really fast and it's being highly processed. And we, we don't wanna do that. We wanna, we wanna make wine like the old Italians made wine. We're not gonna put in, we won't put in straw bottles and uh, hopefully it tastes better than some of those old wines, but uh, <laughs> uh, we still think the old ways are the best ways from just about everything we do. My, my winery, even though it's modern, the equipment I still use is my original winemaking equipment I bought in 1982. Oh, hey, that 82 is a good year, my friend. <laughs> uh, well, I will say this, though. Uh, speaking of good wines there at Rabbit Ridge Winery, what do you offer? Explain so people can have an idea when they do see it on the shelves. Are we talking reds? Are we talking whites? What does this offer? And realistically, what can people get now in Tampa Bay? We we're, we pretty much make a big variety of red wines, all kinds of different individual varieties like Zinfandel and Cabernet. But one of the things that sets us apart is we have so many different blended wines. And I've been doing that since I first started and just mixing different uh, wines together to get different flavors and different complexities. And, you know, sometimes we, we never know. I don't know when I, when I crush a grape what it's going to end up being. Oh, wow. You know, I, can, I can make it into anything. I was uh, uh, doing a wine blend of, of one of the wines that's coming to Tampa called Reflection. And it's a blend of four different grapes. And as I was making the blend, 
I liked one of the grapes so well that I separated four barrels and I bottled those feral, four barrels separately. It was oh. a Cabernet Franc. And my wife goes, oh my God, you're such a misfit. <laughs> and uh, so we named the wine Misfit. <laughs> I love hearing that. I love meeting both of you. Of course, you can enjoy their, uh, their wines, Rabbit Ridge Winery, and they like visitors out in California, but I hope to see you in Tampa Bay. We'll do a little tasting, okay? Soon. That'd be great.